Two more people have died. At least eight others have gone blind in an outbreak tied to tainted eye drops. The illness has been found in 16 states, but there is new hope. ABC 10 News reporter Austin Grabish is in a UC San Diego lab where local researchers may have found a cure. Researchers here at UCSD are putting virus samples on petri dishes to see if it will kill bacteria, and so far they've had some success. In some ways, you could think of it as a breakthrough. Another more simple way of thinking about it is this is nature. The bacteria that researchers are trying to kill is deadly. It comes from the CDC and was taken from patients who went blind and died after using recalled eye drops. The viruses they are using are called bacteria pages, and their use comes at a critical time. Antibiotics didn't work on the three patients who died and the eight others who went blind after using the eye drops. But the pages researchers have did work successfully killing the bacteria. Unfortunately, this particular bacteria that has apparently contaminated these eye drops is one of those highly antibiotic resistant bacteria. The researchers aren't sure if all strains of the bacteria will be the same or if they will react in a similar way to what they've seen so far, but they do believe this is a potential cure. If you're like me and have dry eyes and use eye drops, you're probably wondering if it's okay to still use them given the recalls. Experts say the best thing you can do is check the brand and see if it's on the recall list. If it's not, you're probably okay. And researchers say the timing of this discovery is critical, not only for people who develop this deadly eye infection. We are running up against a wall with uh, developing traditional antibiotics and we need new approaches. Uh, millions of people are going to be dying of multi-drug resistant bacteria. Researchers here believe this potential breakthrough could be used relatively quickly on patients, but it would first require approval from the FDA. Reporting in La Jolla, Austin Grabish, ABC 10 News. Check the brand of those eye drops.